friends welcome back to my channel addicted soul and this is tushar astogi and i welcome you all it's been long that i have posted any new videos it's been around 2 weeks that i haven't posted any videos because of some personal engagements so here i am back with another fountain pen review for you guys so let's start with the review this is the fountain pen that i have purchased from mohi abhi pen industries from aurangabad and the name of this model is tanishk uh, this is an acrylic pen with orange and blue marble textured finish so let's start with this cap first it's a cylindrical cap of 2.5 inches and on the top it has got this flat finials to which this clip is being fixed in the threads and then you can tighten this clip on the cap the cap has a breather hole here and i've got a steel ring the clip is not very much springy it's a normal clip and it has got mohi logo here on the top what i didn't like about this clip is i'll show you just see this edges I have found that these edges sometimes leave a scratchy mark on the surface of the cap. So I would request Mohi to please change their caps or change their clips so that this issue can be solved. Another thing is the barrel. The next thing, it's a straight cylindrical barrel around. 13 to 14 in diameter and 3 or 3.25 inches long with a flat finial base and it has got four threads so the cap opens up and closes in four thread four turns 1 2 3 four it's a eye dropper fill barrel and this tank can hold a lot of ink if we talk about this you can see this is around 1 inch in height and 11 inches in diameter and this section have got threads which are really long and this section is fitted with this ebonite feed and this is the default tip nib which says mohi tapered tip mohi tipped fine so this is the nib that is friction fit nib with this ebonite feeder inside the section overall this is a average sized pocket pen and the complete length of this pen is around 5.25 to 5.5 inches this cap is good cap posts well i prefer my cap pen caps without a clip so i generally don't use this clip i just put this finial top like this and use my pens like this and as you can see this is a small pocket sized pen this is not a very costly pen uh, and i would say all students can afford this pen this pen is for i have i think i have purchased this for 500 or 600 bucks but the two things that i don't like about mohi pens is one is the nib they are nibs though they are tip nibs but they are not tuned nibs uh, they are really scratchy nibs before using these nibs you have to grind them on the grit paper to make them smooth 
and the second thing that I have already told you is the clip so I would request them to take into consideration these two points and in future pens please try to fix these issues so I'll be showing you the writing samples uh, with the tip nib also I generally don't use the default nibs with this pen I use eyedropper pens with my custom grind nibs this is a local locally purchased nib which is uh, grinded to oblique for writing my Urdu writing Urdu and see let me fix the this nib inside this pen and show you how easy it is to fix the nib take the nib take the feeder align the feeder with the tines and the nib hold it tight and slowly with a jerk put it in like this done so let me fill this pen with the ink and then I'll show you the writing samples of this particular pen with both the nibs and if I have to take it out just pull it like this and take it out see how easy it is to change the nib so I'll be using this Dayton extra fine orange ink to fill this eyedropper pen and will show you the writing samples See, I am filling it with the Dayton ink, extra fine orange and see how much ink it holds. See it can hold a lot of ink one more thing that I wanted to bring to your notice is the how thin this pen is because it's a CNC turned pen and it has got very thin diameter and very thin edges let me fix this name and then I'll show you as you can see this these are the ink marks when you fill the inks you can see the shadow of the inks here, ink here that has been filled inside so it acts as a ink window also sometimes when the ink is about to finish you can judge okay, the ink is about to finish otherwise that's okay so just a moment let me check it make it work for you I'll be using my old diary to test this pen and as you can see it has started writing
this is a dry writer actually not a very wet writer and as you can see this let me show you the dryness test so this is a kind of scratchy in a uh, see no line variations are there and this don't write in reverse totally scratchy so this is the performance of the default nib and now I'll change it to the custom grinded nib uh, custom grind nib this one and then I'll show you the sample just a moment See how easily I have removed this nib. This is the default nib, and now I'll set up with the how easy it is to replace the nib in this particular pan. So this is the review of this particular pen and I have told you all the pros and cons of this nib is this particular pen and I would recommend this particular pen to especially to students who cannot afford to buy expensive pens this pen would cost you around 400 to 500 to 600 bucks majorly because I think I have purchased it for 500 bucks now after covid might be the prices have increased but it's a good pen and if you like you can buy this pen from abhay pen industries aurangabad and the brand name is mohi so that's all for now i'll see you soon with another review and i would request mohi to please take into consideration my two requests regarding the clip and the nib so that's all guys i'll see you soon till then take care and if you have not subscribed to my channel or you want to share this video please feel free to share to like and subscribe i request you humbly and that's all for now jai hind vande mataram har har mahadev